for medical emergencies only. Now, if you pull that cord, EMTs will be dispatched and the train will be shut down for a good long time. So please do not pull that cord unless you have an actual medical emergency. Well, howdy, everybody. Welcome aboard the Frisco Silver Dollar Line. Now then, for your safety, everyone, please remain seated. Keep your arms and legs inside the train at all times. This is Conductor Joe here on the back. Want to be the first to welcome you aboard. Everybody look to your left. That conductor waving us out. That's Conductor Rick. Everybody say bye, Rick. Hey, you know, if any luck, we'll see him in about a week. Coming on the right-hand side of the train is Tom and Hutch River Blast. And on the left-hand side of the train is Half Dollar Holler. That's our newest play area for kids, geared for kids ages 3 to 7 years old. Take them over there, let them ride that old-time carousel, play in the tree houses. It's a great time at Half Dollar Holler. Now then, a special treat for all you men on board coming up on the left-hand side of the train. That big green two-story building up ahead is home to the world-famous Silver Dollar Saloon. While they've got some of the longest, prettiest legs in the Ozarks. And some of the ugliest thing bartenders you've ever seen. Also on the left, it's Fire in the Hole. I want everybody to say, Fire in the Hole! Yeah, last night a bunch of nasty ball bombers rode into town, sent the city ablaze. Now the fire marshal needs everybody's help to put out the rage and blaze it. Fire in the hole! Now then, folks, on the right-hand side of the train, we are passing Wilson Farms. Now, it's unlike any other farm in the area. Well, they got up a giant 75-foot barn swing over there. It'll take you up seven stories in the air and bring you down at almost 50 miles an hour. Now, you can also ride the highway. Now, Wilson Farms. And folks, I don't want to alarm anybody, but back at the depot, I did get word those two notorious train robbers, Alfie and Ralphie Bolin, have busted out of the county jail, and they may be headed our way to try and rob our train. So I need everybody to keep your eyes open and your fingers crossed. Folks, we are headed down a pretty steep grade, and I can tell by the looks of some of your faces, you're a little worried about the brakes on this train. <laughs> Worry no more. We have purchased the best brakes that money can buy. Yeah, they should be here sometime tomorrow. So right now, I want everybody put your hands straight up in the air. Straight up in the air. Everybody say, Whee! Congratulations, you've now passed our emergency brake failure procedure. Now that on the left-hand side of the train, we are coming up to Powder Keg. Now Powder Keg will take you from zero to 60 miles an hour in less than three seconds. <laughs> And folks, on the right-hand side of the train, it's Outlaw Run, our new good roller coaster. One of the very fastest roller coasters anywhere in the world. Yeah, it's a top speed of 68 miles an hour. It's 160 feet high at the tallest point, and it has an 81-degree drop. That's right, almost straight down. Winner of the 2013 Golden Ticket Award for the best new ride on a theme park. It's quite a ride. Be sure and check it out. Outlaw Run. Now then, folks up ahead on the right, we're coming up with our engineer's very favorite part of the trip. It's called Moonshine Stone. Now, see a bunch of local moonshiners, they'll get together. They'll put out a jug of their very finest moonshine for you to sample. So if you'd like to try some, why don't you just let us know. We'll stop the train, drop you off, and pick you up on the way back. And I do mean pick you up. Yeah, my grandpappy used to call that stuff raw water. Yeah, one swig, you turn green. Two swigs, you get a little jumpy. <laughs> Three swigs, you croak. Maybe. 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 Now then, for you city slickers on board, I want you to look to the left. What do you see? Good. Trees. Now quick, look to the right. What do you see? More trees. Now you notice the trees on the right look a lot like the trees on the left. <laughs> That's because we're in the woods. It's true. Now, the 
Let's call it the Rack of Old 82. Now, you see our engineer, Ichabod Q. Peabody. Well, he spent a little too much time back there at Moonshine Stump one morning. He came down here, took a 2.3 mile an hour curve at a blazing 7.9 miles an hour. Well, you guessed it. Train jumped the tracks, rolled down the hill, and crashed through the trees. Now, we got old Ichabod out of the engine. We dusted him off, and I'll give you three guesses who's driving your train today. <laughs> hey, Ichabod, if you're up there, why don't you give us three tunes on that whistle? Well, I said three tunes, Ichabod. Yeah, well, at least he's still breathing. And, hey, that's a really good sign. Yeah, Ichabod never was very good with numbers, though. That's not I said, Ichabod, hey, you know what three and one is? He said, I sure do. It's oil. <laughs> Now then, folks, we're coming into Pottersville, Missouri, smallest town in the state, population four. I'll make that tree the dog ran off. <laughs> dog gone. Folks, we're now leaving Pottersville, Missouri, where we are entering rattlesnake country. Now, just last week, a giant 97-pound copper-headed rattle moccasin <laughs> ain't seen her wooden snake since. Hey, come on, what are we doing slowing down in rattlesnake country? I don't understand this at all. Oh, no. Looking up ahead, I think I understand now. And talk about rattlesnakes. It looks like Yalfie and Ralphie Golan up ahead. They're a flag of the train down. I want everybody to say, oh, no. Oh, yeah. Y'all, why don't you make them boys mad try to scare them off? <laughs> 